The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Missouri's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. And he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He tackles him for a loss. a great tackle at the 49. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Fires out to his wideout. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. He scrambled. He's at the 30, he's at the 20, and he's taken down right around the 14-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Fires out to his receiver. each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So a seven play, 74 yard drive, and the result, seven points. So the score now, seven nothing. Missouri gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Loss of three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 22. Tackle at the 18-yard line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. He's got room. He's tackled right around the 30. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Oh, excellent hook. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. 
Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. Missouri is up seven. Kill, kill, kill. Green 15. He's taken down at the 47. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Quads, quads, quads. Keep 15, keep 15. <laughs> go, hey, kill, go. Kill. Scrambling around. Tackle made at the 48 yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. By five. Easy, easy, easy. Flair, Flair. Hot route. Hot. Hot. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down. My five, my five, my five. Hey, kill. Nice run to the outside. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Brought down at the 22. From the 22 yard line. First down. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got an opening. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and two. Caught, and he steps out of bounds. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. Missouri up seven points. Touchdown, Mizzou. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Gets it out quickly. And he is drilled to 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 50-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws a strike over the middle. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. That's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. And they push him out at the six. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. That makes it second and two. 
And we've reached the end of one. Missouri's lead is two touchdowns. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Somebody jumped Yellow early down three. there. Yellow three. False, False start, start offense. offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still second, second down. down. From the 11-yard line, second down. Roger, Roger. Mike eight. Mike eight. Get that quarterback. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 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 The late handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. Really nice play by the That's defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. This is the eighth play of this drive. Looks to the end zone interception. Brad, it's still early in this game, and they might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. Check curls, check curls, check curls. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20. Now he's scrambling, and he's tackled around the 24-yard line. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. Quick throw out to the receiver. Across midfield, and he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. That's good for a game of 31 yards. Coming to you, coming to you. First down. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 31. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. He's got to throw it in a hurry. <laughs> so the sack makes this a second and long. They got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Huge game, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's tackled around the one yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Touchdown, Tigers! A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He makes the PAT.
Missouri to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. And he's tackled in the open field. There's a flag down, and this most likely is going to be on the defense. Offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. through his hands. Brad, I think this is a case where the running back started to peek up and think about the defender before he caught the football. You always hear about guys hearing footsteps. I think he heard footsteps there. Didn't allow him to catch the football. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Fourth down. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And this one is a beauty. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. The Tigers' offense normally predicated with the ground game, but today it's the passing game that's working it's for been, It's been a big surprise, Brad. I mean, we all expected to see this star running back have a big game, but it's been nice to see the versatility of this offense and see this passing game step up. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 47-yard line, second down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Makes the catch and look out. He steps out around the 49-yard line. Impressive play by the defense. They're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. They're coming after this punter. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. One yard loss for the halfback. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Missouri's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Arden. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's still a lot of football to be played. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black, 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 black. Watch the motion, watch the motion! 
And he's tackled right away. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 38. That makes it second and eight. He's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Pass is caught, and the defense lays him out. That makes it fourth and four. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. We've played a half. The Tigers lead it 24-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This halftime lead can make a team feel as if the game is over, that they've already done their work, that they put the other guy away. But I think the first few minutes of the second half could be paramount. If they want to build on this lead and make sure that they finish it with a victory. Well, absolutely. If you come out and you give up a, a score right away, you're talking about making this game within two scores and, and making it a little bit closer than you want it to. So if you can come out, get a stop, get a score, you can put this game out of reach right away. You can make the other side extremely one-dimensional, make them pass happy, and put them in a situation where you know exactly what you're going to get from them. So you got to come out in the first few minutes of the third quarter, establish yourself, and shut that door of any hope for the other side. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Number six. And he got all of this one. Great kick. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Fires across the middle. He's taken down at around the 48-yard line. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Black five, black five. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Go. He guns it right side. Incomplete. Almost picked off. 
as a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. There's a strike complete. He's at the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense, ready to get things going again. Screen and he is drilled at the 29. That makes it seven and six. Mike five, Mike five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, check, check. Check. Scrambling around and he can't get away from the pressure. Pushed out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. First down. Five wide. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That brings him second and five. Scrambled. Tackle made at the 23 yard line. No so the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The kick is up, and he's got it. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. the sophomore that's got it, and he tackles him hard at the 42. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. That'll make it second and inches.
So it's second down, and they're only about a foot hey, away hey, from hey, picking up the first down. Check 82, watch 82, ball's coming to in. Black five! <laughs> <laughs> Nearly intercepted. Red two! Kill, kill, kill! And he hits him hard at the 50 yard line. Lost a few yards on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Hit him in the backfield. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut him down. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Gets it. He's in space. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. at the 34-yard line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 34-yard line. He's on the run. And now he's going to run. Brought down at the 17-yard line. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Tackle around the 7-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. That makes it first and goal. Offense lines up in a five wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. And they got him. They've really thrown the quarterback's rhythm off and rattled his confidence with such a relentless pass rush. He's not himself out there at all today. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 10. Mike five, Mike five. He's tackled at the nine yard line. It's a bad play overall by the offense. Quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. It's up, and it's puts the uprights. Missouri is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled at the 23. One more quarter to play. Missouri's lead is 22. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Mike A, Mike A. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there, huh? Three, three, three. Fires it out. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line.
from their own 27-yard line. Third down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Go. Pass complete and taken down immediately. it to the 35 yard line first and ten all on their own 35 he's taken down at the 44 yard line the 44-yard line. It's first down. He steps out at the 36-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And a quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 26. And this is the eighth play of the drive. First down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Strike to his receiver, no good. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, or check it down, or take off and run with it. He's got it out to his tight end. They'll bring him down around the 11-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Defense gets set as they hope to create another red zone turnover. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 13 yard line, it's second down. Red two. Easy, easy. Tackle made at the three-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. They stack the line of scrimmage here. Let's see who's got the stronger lineman. Toss sweep, and he loses yardage. Loss of one yard on the play. That brings up fourth and three. Well, folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Just over two minutes in the game. Tackle for a loss, and they'll turn it over on downs. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 16. Tight right, tight right. Two down, two down. Green nine, green nine. X7. On the ground, up the middle. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. down as he works the left for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Dog four. Green nine. Makes
takes it out to about the 36. Call it a game of 12 yards. First and down. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. Missouri 30, Arkansas 8. And the Arkansas Razorbacks. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.